beauty and wonder to reveal the auspicious stepper's trend of life. I take great delight in welcoming you all to this most auspicious occasion of our school. We are extremely elated to hold the maiden virtual investiture ceremony for the academic year 2020-21. Investiture ceremony is the first celebration at Velamar where the newly elected school representatives take charge with the duties entrusted to them. Great things are achieved through great leadership and great leaders are created inside the four walls of a classroom. COVID-19 has rendered everybody handicapped and has turned the globe into a house arrest. In this scenario, it's a great challenge to keep the students engaged and interested virtually on an online portal. But a challenge is nothing for Velamal and its students. In fact, we take it as a seed of opportunity to get adapted to this trend and achieve the same effect as in the traditional classroom. Moving a step ahead, the leaders for the Students' Council were elected at Velamal through online polling and it's our privilege to honour the newly elected aspirants in this occasion. It's our pride to have our distinguished guest, Srimadhi Vaishnavi Shankar. Managing Partner and Faculty of Shankar IAS Academy, IIT Madras. Our esteemed guest is a gold medalist in post-graduation. Our guest is also an All India Second Rank Holder in PhD Entrance Examination conducted by ASRB. She is a PhD in Health Economics from IIT Madras. Your presence here is a source of inspiration for all of us ma'am. Let's never forget the powerful resources which is always available to us. That is care, joy and gratitude. To tap these powers and for a gracious start, let's evoke the blessings of God. Prayer song by pupils of Vils Ragas. Now, I humbly request everyone to be in reverence for the prayer song. Bless the Lord of my soul, oh my soul. I'll worship His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I'll worship Your holy name The sun comes up It's a new day dawning It's time to sing Your song again and humble pranam to all. I am Isa Jeshwal, the newly elected assistant school people leader and I am greatly delighted to begin my first speech with a welcome note. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So is the challenging fields of our young leaders. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all on this virtual platform for the investiture ceremony of a school. On this bright and wonderful day, it's indeed a great honour to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Vaishnavi Shankar, Managing Partner and Faculty, Shankar IAS Academy. She did her schooling in Salem, pursued her graduation from Agricultural College and Research Institute, secured All India 18 track in PJ Entrance Examination, and did her post-graduation in MSc in Agricultural Economics in SV Agricultural College, Tirupati where she was a gold medalist. She 
execute all in the second round in PhD entrance examination, conducted and completed her PhD examination in health economics from IIT Madras. Being a civil service aspirant, Dr. Vaishnavi is an eminent faculty in teaching economics and has been in this field for more than 15 years. She has received International Health Economics Association scholarship twice for her international publication and also been sponsored by WHO for her publication on health economics at Singapore. With a great delight, I welcome you ma'am. Today's grandeur is possible only because of a great inspiration, a living legend to all ambitious aspirants, a father chairman, sir, who with his example has instilled in students the thirst and hunger to strive, achieve and excel. We always begin all our program with a humble pronounce to him. My most humble greetings of welcome to our correspondent sir, the embodiment of great strength and great gentleness, a man who says for life, Perfection to details and commitment to belief are imbibed and irrefectively followed by his dedicated team. On this wonderful evening, I also welcome the administrators and the teaching fraternity of other schools who have accepted our invitation and gathered here to partake in our celebration. Welcome sirs, ma'ams. I take delight in extending my special greetings to senior principal, principal, HMs and AHMs and the teacher of Bilamal Main School whose presence has added a touch of magic to this ethereal wonder. I also welcome all the parents who wait eagerly for the proud moment to unfold and witness the young leaders take charge of their duties. A warmest greeting of welcome to all the school representatives who have carried out your responsibilities boldly. I would fail in my duty if I don't welcome the viewers of today's program. A special welcome to you, dear friends. Wishing you all a happy evening. I once again extend a warm, warm welcome to all. Thank you, Isha Deshwar, for your notice welcome. Dance is not just dance. It's magical. To show this magic, here we have with us, Harini and Gadishreya. Let's glorify the Lord Almighty with a graceful invocation dance. Jam, jam, tananata, jam, jam, tananata, kuntari, kita, taka, kukuntari. Jam, jam, tananata, jam, jam, tananata, kuntari, kita, taka, kukuntari.
Teacher Ceremony signifies the reliance and confidence that the school consigns in the newly elected leaders. Election for the Students' Council was conducted at Velama through online polling on 4th July for various posts like SPL, ASPL, Cultural President and Vice President, Sports President and Vice President, Head Boy and Head Girl, Monitors and Assistant Monitors. The candidate campaigned for the polling through their videos, confined to their home due to the pandemic. The online polling was conducted under the supervision of the election panel. The results of the online polling were declared on the same day. Now we present the glimpse of the virtual student council election. Which really amid this pandemic, 
A special word of thanks to all the teachers for their commitment. Finally, I congratulate and extend our special thanks to all the leaders taking charge this academic year. Thank you, thank you all. Congratulations to all the elected leaders. The celebration on this day makes every student who is selected as a leader feel proud as well as the sense of responsibility to be leaders in making for tomorrow. It's time to honor our young elected leaders. I take pride in introducing our school pupil leader for the academic year 2020-21. Now I request our respectable senior principal ma'am to honor our school SPL. Next is the energetic assistant school pupil leader lined up to take the honor. May I now request our senior principal ma'am to bless and honor our ASP. This was indeed a great accomplishment. A good objective of a leader is to focus on development. Master Harish Viknesh, SPL, who is very active and enthusiastic, stepped forward with this thought, presenting his testimony. A happy day to everybody. This is Harish Viknesh. I am happy to be elected as a school people leader. I thank all the administrators, staff and my dear friends for voting me. I am sure to promote and support the students in all school activities and thank you. Thank you Master Harish Viknesh. We wish you success. If actions create legacy that inspires others, then one can be an excellent leader. With this thought, here comes proudly our ASPL Ms. Isha Deshwar who is an excellent orator to give her testimony. Warm greetings to everyone. I am Isha Deshwar. I am delighted to be elected as the assistant school pupil leader. I am grateful to all the administrators, teachers and my dear friends for electing me for this post. I promise to uphold the school fame and act as the bridge between the school and the students. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Isha Deshwar. We wish you good luck. Now, all the newly elected leaders and the office bearers will take up the oath. I request them to stand for the pledge and repeat the oath after the teacher. We, we the newly elected, the newly elected school representatives, school representatives solemnly promise, solemnly promise to serve our fellow students. To serve and the school and the school sincerely sincerely we will endeavor we will endeavor to be perfect role models to be perfect role models of discipline of discipline we will we will to the best of our ability to the best of our ability uphold uphold promote promote and support and support all the school ideas all the school ideas and activities and we will, we will actively take part, actively take part in, all our school activities, in all our school activities and endeavor, and endeavor to, bring laurels and glory to bring laurels and glory to our school. To our school. We, will remember, we will remember our responsibilities, our responsibilities to, our school, to our school, our teachers, our teachers Fellow students and our parents. Fellow students and our parents. As a prefect, as a prefect, we will uphold loyalty. We will uphold loyalty. The traditions, the traditions, and the culture, and the culture of the school, of the school, and our nation, and our nation. Puppets we are, and puppets we shall be, as everything is in the hands of God. Up next is the puppet show to pull up the string of happiness within us.
in the hands of puppeteer. Let's witness the creativity and imagination of our young Picassos in their art. Here we present the amazing art by our ECOLP Fine Arts students.
Good evening students this is uh, vaishnavi shankar talking from shankar ais academy i am thankful to mr k s konmati who is principal of elammar school who has invited me to join in this occasion it's actually a very great occasion for you students where spl and aspl are taking in us the swearing in ceremony as i can understand in this occasion what is it we actually need to focus is what are the roles and responsibilities or what is that we are expecting out of these uh, students who are uh, becoming into the school pupil leader and the aspr right so just uh, look at the word uh, uh, the leader and what exactly are we expecting out of a person who can be called as a leader a few things what i would like to share from my own experience as being as leading the management of shankaris academy as The first thing is about honesty of course honesty is required for every person as a human being but honesty is a very big thing which we expect out of a leader when a leader is very very honest we can earn the respect and the trust of the people under us very very easily it's a virtue by itself so the first and the foremost thing what we would like to mention as the the most important thing what a leader should have us he should be very very honest The second thing what I would like to mention is the leader should be very confident in what he is uh, doing. How do you get this confidence? The confidence comes out of the clarity in the activities what you do. You should know like what are all these steps you have to take. You should know the consequences of what you do and you should also be able to take the responsibility of what you do as an activity. so confidence and responsibility both go actually hand in hand if you are seeing lots of uh, uh, the morbidity around you when you are looking at a person who is at the level of the district administration he should be confident enough to take the activities to control the morbidity situation and he also becomes a responsible person for saving the lives of all the people who are under him so that's how we say like confidence and responsibility both uh, they should go together and complete an activity in a very very successful manner the other major quality we expect out of a leader is he should be able to communicate very well uh what is this very well very well can be uh, defined even as very simple and as well as effective communication why do we have to communicate See, as a person, you may be having lots of thoughts, ideas, processes, techniques in your mind. Unless you communicate to others, it is very difficult for uh, conveying the message to others. So, how do I communicate? There are varieties ways of communication, but as a leader, how do I communicate? You should be able to communicate orally very well as well as in the written method. So, let's take an example of what do we actually talk as effective communication. should leaders uh, effectively communicate see uh, buddha had a choice uh, he could have become a king and naturally he would have become a great uh, leader of his own uh, kingdom but he chose a different path he got enlightened he gave up all the worldly desires and then he got enlightened and when he got enlightened about like the philosophy of life he had to communicate to others saying desire is the root cause of everything and he conveyed all his preachings and his thought processes saying do good be good think good act good so when he was able to tell the message communicate the message in a very simple and effective way it reached far and wide across the world and it became into buddhism right Buddha, of course, by this means he is a 
very effective communicating leader so this is what is actually expected as the means of effective communication it is not that every time you have to catch hold of a mic and then make great speeches in order to become a great leader you have to be effectively communicate and whenever we mention the word leader no everybody will be expecting this key word inspiring of course a leader has to be inspiring and the inspiration comes from his own vision what do you mean by vision vision is like what do we do in the next a few years where do we want to go from here today i am a school pupil leader i am taking the responsibility of uh, leading the students of my school in terms of the curricular as well as the co curricular activities of course this is the thing which we need to do now right now to keep up the value of education as well as the value of all the co curricular activities the sports whatever we learn through the school and step up the school to a greater heights so that's one kind of a vision what you could have but as a person you should also be having a vision about your own the way of life right every student can have a vision and if he starts working towards it and he should be as a leader he should be able to inspire others what do you mean by inspiration you can inspire people by the way how you live by the way how you talk by the way how you share your experience by the way of your communication by the way of your achievements here as a leader we expect you mainly to inspire your students by way of your living as well as by the way of your communication so when you as a student do very well in your studies or in your co curricular activity with your basic very good qualities like honesty confidence integrity and all these things you definitely become an inspiration to the rest of the fellow students let us now look at uh, beyond the school level once you are done with your school education you may get into the college education and after that say for example you want to become an ias officer or an ips officer you are writing the competitive examination you will be studying varieties of subjects you will be studying varieties of like uh, the current affairs thing you will be learning the things which are happening around you you perform in the examination and then you get selected as an ias or an ips officer once you are getting selected as an officer what exactly is imparted to you is again the training to become into the great leaders why this training is required again you are going to be like be the leader of a district or you are going to become the leader of a police force say for example you are becoming a ips officer the highest cadre what you can reach like as dgp so when you take in case of uh, tamil nadu maybe they are dividing into different zones and then you will be on the top if you become the highest rank holder you will be having adgp ig dig sp additional sp dsp then the inspector then the sub inspector then the head constable senior constable and the constable so there is a whole lot of hierarchy which goes in and you have more than 1 lakh police personnel who will be under your control and you are going to have a control about the law and justice uh, the order in the state or in the country so again when you get into the field as the highest position of the police officer what will be expected out of you will be the qualities what we mentioned to you right now when you are becoming into the uh, highest position or the leader of the school what are the basic qualities you need to be honest you should be confident you should be responsible you should be inspiring you should be communicating all of these qualities whatever we mention will be again required in the field when you become into the great officers dedicating yourselves to the nation so as students uh when you are inculcating these good qualities from the school level it is going to take you to the uh, very good heights whatever role you are going to play later in the service of the nation these good qualities are going to definitely help you in uh, giving a very good leaders to the nation in the future so today i wish you all uh, all the best Uh, for dedicating your service to the school as of now and 
i hope and i wish you all the best to dedicate your service tomorrow as uh, great leaders to the nation also thank you thank you ma'am for such an inspirational speech joy is the simplest form of gratitude to express this gratitude i invite ms shreddha the head girl of the primary compartment to propose the formal oath of thanks a happy day to everyone i'm shreddha head girl of the primary compartment It's a sheer delight to meet you all on this virtual portal. Gratitude is the only virtue that endorses human relations. God created the world and instilled the innate abilities in every creation. Yes, is it not right to thank God for every occasion that He uses creation? Today is one of the most memorable days as we have had the pleasure of sharing an exquisite day with the newly elected leaders in the august presence of Dr. Vaishnavi Shankar. Managing partner and faculty, Shankar Ayer Academy. Thank you, ma'am. Your presence has heightened the magic of today's charm. I take this occasion to thank our chairman, sir, for providing us with the opportunity to meet great personalities who invariably shape our future. Thank you, sir. My profound gratitude to our correspondent, sir, for recognizing and nurturing individual talents and creating a virtual platform to honor them. Today's young leaders are indebted to you, sir. We really feel honored. I express my sincere gratitude to the senior principal, principals, agents, and agents of Viraman Main School for pulling off a tremendous feat with such ease. I extend my sincere thanks to all the coordinators and teachers for their undying cooperation in always rendering the best. I express my gratitude to the technical team working behind the screen. for making this day a great success sirs without your cooperation we would not have been able to make it a memorable treat i take pleasure in thanking our ever supportive parents and fellow students who are watching this program live and lending their fullest cooperation always thank you parents and my dear friends i thank you all once again thank you thank you all thank you shreddha i once again thank you all on behalf of our management in making this ceremony a grand success now let's rise up for the national anthem national anthem is presented by danya lakshmi on the instrument veena